you know, General Konsam Himalaya is saying, you know, listening to what Kaushik is saying, this is very scary. The amount of arms that are floating around, the fact that, as he says, state administration is also getting divided on ethnic lines. These are very scary, you know, indicators for a state which is a border state of this country. What is the solution according to you? Uh, What's I the totally solution? Agree. Yeah, 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 I totally agree. But before that, uh, I would like to comment on that, uh, you know, uh, uh, this ethnic cleansing or uh, this kind of a comment. I think that should be little, uh, uh, you know, a little deliberate when we talk about ethnic cleansing. You know, that is the first point, you know. So uh, what's the uh, solution? Uh, okay, we say it's not, uh, you know, as I said, we will for now hold our horses on that. But what's the solution? We're in our okay, final the, round. What is the, your solution? Okay, number one is establish the rule of law. How? The military and the police have to calibrate their use of force. The reason why they cannot use force randomly is that when uh, the peop when things are going wrong, it is the people, civilians, armed and unarmed, mostly unarmed, they are in terms of hundreds and thousands. So the military cannot really you know, control with the use of force. That is one of the reasons that, but the solution that you are talking, I would strongly suggest that the political outreach is one of the main issue here. The, polit the politicians have to come together by force or otherwise. So the you're, you're saying there has to be a, your point is taken, you're saying political outreach, there is only so much that the military can do and they're trying their very best. What you really need is a political outreach. But the politicians also sadly are divided. But Hoinu, what is your solution? What do you think at a human level? Do you think Manipur could do with a healing touch? Do you think that people, Hoinu, have the confidence in their politicians at the moment? Hoinu, do you, do you think that the, a healing touch can be provided? Who will provide I'm, the healing touch? I'm sorry, touch? I can't. I'm not able to hear you. Can you hear me now? Is that for me? Yes. How yeah, do I you, can hear you. What, what's the solution uh, you want? The healing touch will come, uh, yeah. The healing touch will come from different uh, factors, Rajdi. First of all, on the 4th of uh, June, a commission of inquiry was uh, formed and on the 10th, Peace Committee was formed. I want to understand why did it derail? Did we even pause to reflect why do this? Uh, why didn't they take off? Why are there so much of opposition from the civil society, from both sides? What could be the reason? Do we even pause to reflect? We just said people have rejected the Peace Committee. Shouldn't we pause and reflect what are the reasons why people are against it or opposed it? So I think we are not really able to find solutions with an intent to really solve it. So we need to really go back to see who are the stakeholders, who are the people who should be in the peace committee, how should we uh, bring them on board so that because it's everybody's problem now. So we cannot just put aside uh, people who really matter in the context of Manipur. Mm -hmm. And so we need to find what is the real solution by involving people, the stakeholders. We need to so from all communities, you would like an, from the church, a probably from the community. In, interfaith, all community dialogue, bringing all communities together, stakeholders who include leaders of community. Colin Gonzalez, offer a solution. Do you see a solution? What would be a solution? See, the, solu the solution is simple and it will stop in a day. You arrest the Arambai, you arrest the Maitai Lupun. 100 cookies killed, not a single FIR filed. Arrest that gentleman of the Maitai Lupun who said on Karan Thapa's program, he said we will annihilate them, arrest them. You arrest them today, the violence will stop tomorrow. If you have the courage to do that, to stop these persons who are killing, identify, we know who they are. We've got photographs of them with automatic weapons. They come on television programs saying we will kill them, we will annihilate them. Arrest them today, the, the, the killings will stop from tomorrow. That's the solution. I cliches, Rajneep, mm -hmm. we live in the world of cliches, old-fashioned cliches.